real pleasure for Peers for Progress to be part of this event today on World Diabetes Day with our friends in the Beijing Diabetes Prevention and Treatment Association. Peers for Progress is a program of the American Academy of Family Physicians Foundation and it's dedicated to promoting peer support and health, health care and prevention around the world. With the largest population in the world, China is going to have an enormous problem with millions and millions of people um, having diseases like diabetes. So we're interested in working with people in China to develop a made in China uh, version of peer support that not only will serve the people well in China, but will also serve as a model for peer support around the world. So let me tell you about a woman who is, I believe, 61 years old in Hefei in Anhui province in China. What she said about her peer support program was that when she was diagnosed with diabetes and when she was first trying to deal with the disease, she really felt like she wasn't doing very well, it was very hard, she couldn't do much about it, that it was ruining her life. And then she joined the peer support program and she said, I saw other people who were managing their diabetes and living full lives, even some people in their 80s. And it really made her optimistic, make her realize, hey, I can do this. And so she went on to do a better job of taking care of her diabetes, leading a full life, and feeling a whole lot more optimistic about her life. Diabetes management today is so complicated because doctors and other healthcare providers have to address lifestyle issues. Doctors and other healthcare providers generally only see patients four to six times a year. Uh, for the last 10 or 20 years, we've had help from diabetes educators, uh, but they're really only seeing patients uh, once or twice a year after the first year. Peer supporters can play a huge role in assisting in the management of people with diabetes because they can provide ongoing support, they can provide linkages back to the healthcare system. It's amazing how often uh, a patient won't share information with me that they will share uh, with a peer supporter uh, in the community. Um, so it's just a, a dramatic amplification uh, of the kind of efforts that I make in the office to have other people engage with patients in the community. The diabetes expert community is just now beginning to understand the potential role for peer supporters. Based on the work from Peers for Progress, we have evidence of benefit um, and uh, preferences on the part of patients and providers. I think in the future, um, physicians will widely recognize that this kind of approach you know, makes their life so much easier. It'll improve uh, health-related communication between providers and patients. Uh, it will help improve outcomes and patient satisfaction. Um, and I do believe it will help lower costs over time because, frankly, um, it costs a lot more to involve doctors and nurses in patients' ongoing care um, than community health workers. We're really amazed by the openness of people in China to Peers for Progress. People in China realize that we really need to find ways of helping people live healthy lives. Health in the 21st century is not just a matter of getting good medicines. It's also a matter of living healthy lives day to day, both to prevent disease and to manage chronic disease. And people seem to be feeling that peer support is a good way of helping people live healthy lives that can be linked effectively with the healthcare system, but also fits with Chinese traditions, uh, the importance of family, the importance of the neighborhood, and notions, for example, of developing a harmonious society. Chronic disease management prevention is enormously complex. It requires a health system, a healthy community, a healthy family, good friends, it can, requires a lot of things. We think that peer support can play an important part in that broad range of things that healthy lives require. And that's what Peers for Progress is trying to advocate. China not only can use peer support to help it deal with its own problem of diabetes and chronic disease, but we really think that China can set a model for the whole world of how to integrate 
highly expert health care, primary care, and peer support and other community-based programs to help people end the 21st century healthier than they began it.